guys, welcome to the Weekend Zone. I'm Britt Johnson. I'm here with Matt Demecki and Chris Clark. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great. Most Good. of the weekend. I'm Good. doing all right. Yeah. Do you have so, any aggression in you guys? It's been like a very aggressive week. It's been, oh, yeah. I'm still sadness. I'm still trying to get over last week. Aw, it happens. Yeah, you still happens. have one, one left in the bunch. We got one, one left. left. <laughs> we got one left. Well, for um, you, buddy. This week, we <laughs> actually experienced another side of the NBA, the violent side. Players from Ben Simmons and Kyle Lowry to the Clippers and Rockets to Aaron Afalo and you know that other guy, your boy, <laughs> your boy. <laughs> I can't My even boy? say his name, Bellic. <laughs> Bielitsa. What's with all the fighting? And is anyone actually about to do something or is it just all heated altercations in the moment? The question of the day is, is the NBA full of fake thugs? Dun, dun. No, I, I don't <laughs> think it's full of them, but you, you got some of them out there. I mean. I don't know if you saw that Aaron Aflalo hit. That dude almost Compton. cracked. Yeah. Compton. I was, <laughs> Compton came I was out. dying when that happened. I, to me personally, I think this is good for the NBA. I know a lot of those old school guys, yeah. they're like, no, we shouldn't be fighting at all. We should keep it clean and let's go to the locker rooms. No, man, fight. You see that Aaron Aflalo hit? I was so hyped when I, I saw forget that. the hit. Oh, I, was, I, was, I, was, no, I was impressed. No. I thought he was like, not, didn't even have that in him to yeah. like do anything uh, and against look, Aaron Aflalo. Aaron Aflalo went from the aggressor to the little brother in seconds. Oh my God. That choke he's, he's like, he's time like, for like Right, that's what I was, man. I was I like, I loved man. it. And, but the thing, we'll go to another fight, the Ben Simmons and the Kyle Lowry. Yeah. That was so fake. I, yeah. When Kyle Lowry's like, meet me in the locker yeah, room. Right. I'm like, you're not going to be there. He's a little. <laughs> that, dude's, that dude's younger and taller than you. Like, uh, come on, man. Like, no. there's some fake thugs out there, but I mean, Aaron Flalo, he showed up and damn, he, he almost cracked him. What do you yeah. think, Chris? Yeah. Um, I, I, I honestly think it's, uh, it goes back to the referees. I think this is this, a, a yeah. referee situation yeah. more than anything. And I think that this is just showing that Like Russell just clapping, no, yeah, like, yeah. and then he gets a tech and he's not even mm. suited up. Like, <laughs> what? Exactly. It's just, yeah, and same, yeah. It just, I just feel like it, it, there's just no control going on right now. And I feel like all this is just stemming from the referee situation that we've been uh, hearing yeah. about from Draymond and from uh, right. Melo and all that stuff. That's what I personally think it has to deal with. Yeah. Um, because now they just, because it's like the refs aren't listening, so I'm just gonna let my emotions just, out my yeah. own way. I'm gonna handle it my there, own way. There's just a lot of tension yep. built up, I guess. Get it well, all out. I have two words for you Matt Barnes. Everyone, <laughs> since Matt retired, everyone's like, now that Matt spot Barnes. is open. I wanna be the bad boy. It worked for Matt Barnes. He has a lot of followers. Everyone, he's like, you love the guy, you hate the guy, but you always follow the guy. Yeah. He's getting that media attention all the time, and somebody. Now that they know they're not going to get beat up by Matt Barnes, right. is trying to take that spot. <laughs> I mean, it's good, and and don't say Matt Barnes. I think it was Ron Artest more than anything. I think Ron Artest that was, was the guy. Ooh, that, yeah, that I was, mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the malice of the well, palace. Well, I guess and now that like both that. of them are gone, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you but got you all the guys that were then? the thugs yeah. that were Oak? gone. Oak is the OG, OG. Oh, that's true. You know what I mean? So we can keep going. There's only been at least one or two in an era, and now there is none. I was just going to say, yeah. And that's why I feel like. A lot of those old school guys, in a way, are saying that the NBA is a little soft mm -hmm. because we don't have this. You know, mm -hmm. when when this was happening this whole week, everybody's freaking out and going, "Oh my God! <laughs> like, day. what's going on? This is <laughs> chaos." I'm like, but this "No, was this the is what happened Pistons back then. Every game, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. this was yeah. Dennis Rodman. Just, this right. is Ronard, like these were all those oh. guys. Like, I mean, come on." Yeah. This, this, there's nothing to play with here. So let's let me let, ask you guys a question. Yeah. Who do you think is going to be the new Ron Artest, Matt Barnes guy in the league? Because there has to be, there always uh, has I to be a bad it's guy. it's got to be, I think it's got to be either Boogie or Draymond. I was going to say I Draymond. Think it's one Draymond's of those two because, the closest, yeah. yeah, I think they're, they're, they're the ones that are bullies, but they actually back it up. So it's one of those mm -hmm. things like, you know, Draymond going to say some reckless. And no one's going to play act, with Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. He, yeah. he, he's an act one and Boogie, this, Boogie That's the key like there. Like, you can talk a lot, yep. but you got to yeah. be fierce. That's what I'm saying. None of these guys this week, I don't, Blake, I'm sorry. Like, that was, that was a personal, that was more of like a petty personal thing between Blake and Well, I mean, the Rockets whole roster is now on the Clippers. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. and yep. there was going to be tension That's with that saying. game. Yeah, and, yeah. Then that, and then Aaron Fall. I can't give it to Aaron Fall because like I said, he went from being the aggressor to being a little brother. <laughs> so I'm not even, I didn't even see his, him as the, oh my gosh, good putt. Oh, but you can't let him do that to you. So yeah. to me, I think it's like like a, a Boogie or a Draymond Green. Uh -huh. Like they, they can back up. Right. You know, they're yeah. talking, they're, they just the look and everything. Yeah. Right. Who we need more of those? I agree. I no, like, I, that's I, I agree. I agree. NBA, no, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm down. Well, let's move on to some professional fighting. Uh, is Dana White right to strip Connor of his title, or is it totally unfair? You guys know he hasn't fought in about 14 months now, and that title is just sitting there. 
should he, you know, should they just give it to somebody else and like let two guys fight or should they just yeah. wait for him to fight and defend I mean, his title? I think yeah. you just answered it right there. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I think absolutely that he yeah, should give up his belt yeah. because, I'm sorry. because look, like Conor went off and got a hundred million dollars in a fight. Like most UFC right. fighters, I mean, they don't even make 20 million through their career. Right, I don't blame him for not fighting because obviously you don't need the money and I think that's what he was passionate about. But look, let these young dudes fight. I mean, Tony mm. Ferguson's out there. You got uh, Khabib out there. They're gonna fight, um, what, I April? think it's in April. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I mean, especially if you're not gonna defend. Right. Yeah, especially if you're not gonna right come to. out this, like like you said, in 14 months and yeah. defend your title. It's like, yeah, you might as well give it up and let somebody else come and actually yeah. take it. Who, who's uh, Somebody who's actually been fighting in that time and you know I, I to me i think it's it's not wrong of dana white to be doing that in the first place. exactly Do you, right. I, I know the hundred million dollar thing is a big reason to not want to fight again because you don't need the money yeah. but do you think that he maybe is afraid of taking another l just because he hasn't been in the ufc ring for such a long time do you think that is the reason why he's not wanting to fight and just holding on to that title no, or i don't think so i think now it's the point where connor wants to fight like a worthy opponent because like i know khabib's yeah. undefeated in the ufc and he's i mean he's there for the taking but a lot of his wins like connor looks at it and is like okay no he doesn't have any quality wins over great people you know and uh, there's nobody tony ferguson's there i don't know if he's fighting Clark has i don't know to say I, I don't this. think it's worth I, it i think low low key i think it, it, you he think has so that, i think that's in that fear is there somewhere i i i, oh, I kind of see that because i mean you can't take an L in both sports. That's you know? what I'm saying. It, it, can, but, can you imagine that? Then we're gonna have him going to the WWE too next. But he's still he's like still gonna happen. make money off that because everybody's it gonna is, be too in But at that fight. point, True, like you said, he doesn't need the money, so it's it, not even about what. the money anymore. It's about like, uh, do I really want to like end my <laughs> UFC career as a champ or as like? Dang, I came back after losing to Floyd and I take an L in the UFC ring. Okay, so but, now I'm a champ of nothing. But okay, if you look at it right now, who can Conor fight right now? And be a quality opponent. I, I see. I get that. I get that argument. But I think. But the no, question was more so if the worry was there. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to. I, I want to see the first. I would. I would like to see him fight against first. I think that'd be kind of cool. But, but but look, like if okay, when when Conor and Nate Diaz fought the first time and he took that L. Right. The amount of risk he has saying I want to rematch right away. What if he took that L again? No, but you're you're losing, so you can only either still suck or be better. So if when you're that's, at the top and you need to like defend your title, I think that's a bigger risk but than that's the trying thing. to come back. He was at the back. top. He beat Aldo, he got the belt, and then he's like, okay, I'm gonna go for a money fight now. So he fought Nate Diaz, took a loss, and I mean, if he lost again, yeah, that, but that was like was that was gone. personal. That was more of a personal. I don't know thing because he didn't beat him. I don't think you any know? UFC fighter goes, okay, I'm scared of losing to this person because it's gonna tarnish my, my uh, yeah, reputation. Yeah, but no UFC know? fighter can say that they're big money like he is now. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's true. He's, he's, a, he's in it. Yeah, in they take mind, the money because they're now. literally, like you said, might not make 20 million exactly. in their whole career. Like. He That's has now the money. he can pick and choose who to Whoever fight, when to wants. fight, why to Make fight. Make the calls. Yeah. yeah. But I don't he's think it's still honestly kind though. Of been quiet. I personally I think, think that he's somewhere. never gonna fight in the UFC again because I don't think it's worth it for him. But you think so. he's going so to fight again because you specifically said UFC. Do you think he's going to fight again? Besides I the bar fights he, that happen in Ireland, what's crazy? That doesn't count. Yeah. I think his Mafia. next fight is probably gonna be in boxing. That's what I think so. I I really think so. And you think he's gonna go straight to a big name? Uh, Manny Pacquiao was there. Okay. They were talking about it oh, a couple Lord. months ago. Okay. Well, Never long know. story short, basically, give up your title, bro. Let somebody else take agree. over. No, yeah. I agree with that. Okay. I agree with that. Too. All right, 100%. so before we head out today, Sunday is conference championships in the NFL. The Eagles are taking on the Vikings, and the Patriots will face the Jags. Who do you guys have winning each game and making it to Super Bowl 52? You know what? Oh, okay, I'm going to say <laughs> in an upset, the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to beat the New England Patriots. And why do you and think Blake that? Bortles, because Britt Johnson. Because, <laughs> no, because of Britt their Johnson. defense. Their defense is legit. That's a Super Bowl defense with a bunch because of talent Britt on that Johnson side. Johnson helped him see that. No, I just I'm point saying, that out. No, Watch our huddle from this last Monday and you'll, you'll understand. All right, but Jacksonville well, let's Jaguars. Let's not take away but, from Mr. Elite Blake Bortles, man. He had a great game against Pittsburgh. You don't think he's elite now? You can't give him that. He's not elite. <laughs> Blake Bortles is okay, not so elite. You have the Jags and the and Eagles. And then on the other side, I'm going to choose my Eagles 
and a late field goal win with time expiring to go to the Super Bowl. Chris. See, oh man, see that's, go back to last week's weekend zone, that's the curse that he put on my Saints. He said the Saints were gonna <laughs> win by a late game field goal and we lost by a late game touchdown. <laughs> so I'm now just for that, I'm He's gonna say, I think, no, I'm saying I think the Vikings are gonna win. Oh, oh, because yeah, I'm sorry, I think this man's yeah. cursed and I'm actually gonna go with Jaguars too. Yeah, 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 I was there for Brent the Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But also, I think you edited that one, so I hope yeah, you got so too. Yeah, so I was there for that one as well. But yeah, um, I think they're going to get that on an underdog win for that one. I'm going Jags and oh, let's go Say Vikings. Just no, 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 no. I'm a Cowboys fan. I can't root for the Eagles. I just can't do it. We'll see. Good. We'll All right, see, we'll, well see. that is a wrap. Let us know what you guys think about everything we talked about in the comments below. Like, subscribe, shop the Fumble Store before you go. I'm Britt Johnson, Matt Demecki, Chris Clark. We'll see you guys next weekend.